it's just under the surface or will be as soon as I set the pot on there. And the pot actually sets up a little bit off of this metal plate because of the lip that's on the bottom of the pot. So we're pulling 13 volts. Um, these cells uh, that I had in series are not hooked up right now. I'm not using them. Uh, you can see I've got the switch shut off for them. If I turn them on, they're pulling about 8 amps. Turn it off, they're not pulling any amps. So, oh, our flow rate's way up. Um, I, I'm, well, I don't know why that flow rate's up so much. I need to turn that flow rate down. I'm going to get that flow rate down between 3 and 4 like we were before. I don't want to drop them below 3, but I don't want it going much above 4 because we get too much whistle in there. So, I want it to stay between 3 and 4. Looks like it's generally in that area. Okay, so if I have to make a little adjustment with that, that's fine. Um, I, I have 11 holes in this one. Now, I, I can go 12. Um, I, I have one more hole here that I didn't drill out. Um, but I have a hole here and here. So it would make up for that. But I'd like to have that last hole if I can. Um, and I did drill these at an angle, as was suggested by someone. So we can kind of spread the flames out. Uh, I'm sure that will help somewhat. Having them centralized in one place is probably worse than having them spread out over a larger area. See, we can see I'm not pulling any amps here. I'm pulling uh, 30 just over 30, about 32 amps here, and uh, um, 13.2 volts, so I should still be with well under the uh, 400 watt um, goal with that. I'm, I'm on getting all my uh, HHO from the Mondo cell, um, which is another tube tube style cell it's just got one more tube than these cells have but uh, anyway so that's what we got I'm gonna go ahead and try it and see if the flame lights and once I've got the uh, flame stabilized then I will uh, put the pot of water on there I've, I've got the pot empty and I've got to fill up uh, 16 ounce container here. Do that quick. Bear with me. one and blows out. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to bring up the uh, flow rate a little bit and just bring up the air. See if we can keep enough pressure in there. Um, I don't think I've got enough gas, but we'll see. Now 
every once in a while we get a little whistle, but not bad. The um, flow meter is staying pretty steady at three. It bounces a little below, but not much. Uh, that, that whole idea is to keep it between three and four for this amount of gas. Um, so we've got about a two to one, two parts gas, one part fresh air being supplied by the compressor, and you'll hear it. Too. There it is. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but this is my battle box. Four and a half. I've got a lot of bouncing around going on here. Four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. So I've got heat in the center, which I can feel radiating through, but I can hold my hands on the edges, no problem. So we're probably going to radiate heat at a slower rate through the uh, diffuser. I, I think that uh, the ceramic is actually causing the problem. So I'm going to go ahead and put the water on there. Make sure we're completely empty. Poured in 16 ounces, which I pre measured. of the flame. So, although it did hold some heat, now this is an outer edge actually, and it is still hot. Actually, it's very hot. So, 